Hi everyone, so we have a really exciting new listing on brokerage with us. It is a 2020 Pearl 62. It's an absolutely stunning boat. Really looking forward to showing you this one. We've just done some drone footage. Uh, so yeah, let's jump aboard and have a look through. So joining me at the stern of this boat, this boat was designed by Bill Dixon, a famous naval architect that does lots of boats. So he's done the layout and the, and the exterior of this boat, and it's very, very well thought out. Immediately on the stern, we've got a huge bathing platform. It's high low, so hydraulic, it can go up and down. It can house, uh, typically one would use a Williams 345 jet tender, but you can fit about three and a half meters on this boat. Um, we've got some rail tracks here. So what that is, uh, it's, this boat has the garage option rather than the crew cabin and that's just in here and that is it can house a jet ski like a sea do or something at the moment it's just being used for storage so we'll open that up right now actually so as you can see huge opening to the garage gives you full access it's incredible and you've got this stainless steel frame that can obviously house the jet ski at the moment they, they don't have one the current owner uh, they're just using it for storage so you've got some paddles here life jackets could use it for scuba diving storage for the tanks and things like that really good blow up inflatables kayaks paddle boards they've got yeah it's awesome uh, on the port side you don't have an entrance into the cockpit so and you'll see why, because the cockpit seating is massive. Uh, we've got the, the only side entrance onto here, but we do have some steps if you need to gain access on the port side. One thing I'd like to show, this teak decking, I'm a really big fan of it. It's got this gray corking, and actually it looks quite good when it's wet. Uh, it just It's very modern, but actually when it gets wet as well, when, when it's been rained on or you get seawater on it, um, the, the teak goes dark and the decking just looks really nice, very modern uh, approach. And just walking up into the cockpit, these stainless steel fittings are really solid, very beautifully designed. As we enter the cockpit, I forgot to mention actually that there is the passerelle right here, it's a gangway, so hydraulic. It can obviously retract and it goes quite nicely in a letterbox fashion. And the shore power cable is a really nice feature as well, electronically uh, winds in and out, which is great because obviously it's a slightly larger cable than a small boat, so that's really nice to have. So into the cockpit, we do have these Lumar electric winches, perfect for stern mooring if you're in the Mediterranean, makes it much, much easier. And then obviously walking around this beautiful table. As I said, this, there is one staircase coming into the cockpit. We don't have one on the port side at all. And what that means is this whole sofa is extended and it is absolutely enormous. I mean, for a 62 foot boat, you could fit so many people around this and equally bring the chairs in from the inside and put them there. And it's an absolutely beautiful space. Uh, you've got some lovely LED lighting, which you'll see inside the boat. We've taken off all the exterior canvas. That's kind of the winter mode. It protects everything from the rain and the elements. But at the moment, we've got it all opened up uh, in summer mode, so to speak. And it's just an absolutely lovely place to be. And just forward, we've got some storage just here with glassware, just good bits to have. Uh, and just here uh, next to the galley into the cockpit, we do have an electric window that drops up and down, very nice. And they've even got this marble insert that covers over the top, very clever little hook there, like that. Really nice touch. And the patio door, it folds into three, but I like that it doesn't just fold sideways where you still have the door there, it actually folds away. So again, you just do that, close very simply. Like that. Very nice, opens up the whole saloon into the cockpit, beautiful. And walking down these side decks, you can see how wide it is. I can comfortably walk and it's very safe, you know, almost hip level and I'm quite tall, um, but yeah, very chunky oval stainless steel. It's beautiful. We do have a side door just there on the, on the starboard side for the helmsman. I'll show you that inside, but look at this four deck. Beautiful. We've got these pop-up lights just here. Really nice. Add a nice feature to it at night time. This is a Portuguese arrangement where you have seating, um, just in front of the windscreens and then sun pad just here. So it's very easy to walk around. We do have four holes uh, for the carbon poles in the awning, which is lovely. Great on a sunny day, which isn't at the moment, unfortunately. 
So it's a very comfortable space just here. And we actually have the Fusion stereo speaker system just here. Boats don't normally have that on the fore deck, so you can control it from here, not just at the back. That's great on your phones as well. It's all Bluetooth. What's underneath me right now is actually the foldable table. So I'll drop this first and then we lift this up. Very easy system. Pull the table out like so. And there we have a massive teak table. And you can see what a difference that makes to this whole area. A few drinks, food, lunch, and with the sun awning as well. Beautiful place to be. Gets you away from the aft end if you're Mediterranean moored and everyone's walking past the sun. This is the place to be really. Beautiful. So that's the nice arrangement under that seat with the table. We do have some fantastic wing storages here, either side, really good. We've put all the covers in there at the moment. One thing that it isn't short of up here are cup holders. Again, seriously useful. If you're at sea, hold your beer bottles, your champagnes, perfect. Just around here, we do have a great storage locker beneath me with some foot, foot controls for the windlass. And of course, we've got our beautiful stainless steel anchor got a safety line it's taking tension on that at the moment but what a great space very easy to walk around very safe with the railings and that's the four deck so let's go inside and have a look what's uh, in the saloon So walking into the saloon of the Pel 62, what an absolutely stunning interior. Seriously modern, fresh, bright, very vibrant. This was designed by Kelly Hoppen. She's a famous interior designer. Uh, this is the lighter of the two, uh, of the two versions on this boat. Um, it's got the, the light oak with black accents, which you'll see throughout. It's absolutely lovely. It's very, very fresh. Um, so the galley is here on the port side. Have your usual appliances. We have Miele induction hob, Miele oven, Miele dishwasher really great appliances. We actually have pearl crockery as well on this boat, plates, um, side plates, which is great. And then a full height fridge freezer, domestic like you have at home. And like I showed earlier, it's got this lovely drop down window, which is perfect for serving guests. Small little features like this, which you don't see often, big adapter that just hides away really nicely. And if you notice all these lovely LEDs, we'll see it throughout the boat. These are direct, they've got lots of indirect lighting. So at night when you don't have the, the ceiling lights on and you've just got the floor lights on, it looks really, really nice. Very nice ambient lighting. So this is again uh, a different layout. Uh, the table's here rather than there. Um, this is lovely, just a breakfast table and you can use these loose chairs for the exterior as well. It's nice to have it straight opposite the galley. And I'll, I'll note it now, but we'll walk down there later, but the master cabin is actually beneath us right now and there's a step at stairwell just here, uh, which is very unusual for this size of vessel. So it goes down, it has its own private staircase and the master cabin's down there, which is lovely. So it's nice to have a separate access away from the forward cabins and into the saloon area of this boat, uh, extremely bright. Uh, you've got plenty of windows and they don't just stop here at the back crest, they go all the way down. So this whole area is completely flooded with light. And a kind of a pearl signature is this extended um, uh, windscreen. Normally boats would have kind of their, their horns or the, or the searchlight outside there, but pearl don't do that. They put it up top and they've extended the windscreen. And this whole area is completely flooded with light. It's, and it's like I said, it's not a nice day here today in England. Um, it's beautiful in here, very, very bright. So with seating, got this huge sofa all the way around, very comfortable, very relaxing. You've got fantastic views either side, as well as the stern, which we showed opening up the whole patio door, the window. Yeah, it's a beautiful, very comfortable place to be. And just where you are now, we do have an L-shaped sofa with the pop-up TV just there as well. We do have our main switches all here tucked away very nicely. 
So you can start your generator here. You've got some storage. Here you can put a chart if you'd like. And then that also opens up into fantastic storage just beneath. The owners have some emergency safety equipment there, which is nice. Before I jump on this helm, you can see this metal here, the powder coating. It's really solid metal and it just feels so, you know, the quality is fantastic. It feels really nice. If you haven't done already please subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so you get alerted each time we upload any video not just broker walkthroughs and if you can like the video it really helps our channel as well so just to talk a little bit about performance on this boat and what we're equipped with engine wise we do have the the top engine option on this boat there are three so this is the volvo penta ips uh, 1200s that's the d13 900 horsepower the smallest engine has about 725 horsepower. So on this boat, we're capable of about 33 knots. The smallest engine option is 27 knots. So we have fantastic performance on this, you know, large flybridge cruiser. Uh, IPS means we do have pods and the benefit of having pods means the engine bay is smaller. It's further aft. You have a big, lovely master cabin, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so the layout on this boat is fantastic because of the IPS setup. Another addition is also this joystick that we have just here. Um, that means you can park uh, against the dock diagonally, sideways, you can swivel it on the spot. But the maneuverability on this boat is exceptional. Again, not common on a size of, of this vessel, 62 feet. Very useful to have IPS set up. Uh, an option we have with the um, joystick is, sorry, with the boat itself is dynamic positioning system, which is effectively a virtual anchor. So what that is, it's a GPS hold. You press this button just here below the joystick and it will hold your course and your position. Perfect if you're you know, wanting to fuel up or if you're waiting for your berth or something like that, it's incredible, especially on this river, which we're moving up right now. Quite a big option, that one. So we're just trickling up the river here at a few knots, it's about four knots, and um, you can just feel how smooth this boat is through IPS, it's very refined, it's so quiet. Um, even though we've got the patio doors open astern, uh, it's seriously smooth, the boat just feels very weighted in the water, we're not drifting anywhere. It's a very smooth uh, ride. So we'll just go up further to the end of this river and we'll take some drone footage. So walking into the helm, what's different on this as well is the helm, helmsman is on the port side. Normally they're here so they have easy access, but actually it makes it much easier for your, for your accompanying helmsman, so to speak, or your guest, um, they can exit very easily. They can go out there. But, and it also gives you a, a quite a good driving position. It means you're more central to the boat and you can see better. Uh, before I talk about what's on the dashboard, we do have this optional extra uh, door that closes ele electronically, which is fantastic. So it's a watertight seal and that's great. It means you can just jump out, do the lines, talk to people, you know, if you need to. And onto the helm itself. I mean, we were obviously uh, up top earlier as well. Um, but driving from this position, it's fantastic. Great views, big windscreen, easy access like I've just shown. We've talked about the engine setup on this boat with the joystick, the DPS, the virtual anchor, fantastic. Uh, and of course, you've got a bow thruster setup as well. So you've got various options to use here for how you'd like to dock. Uh, various carling switches here, as you'd expect, uh, with horns, deck lights, underwater lights, anchor winch, windscreen wipers, bilges, things like that. We've got a glass bridge, so no analog dials. This is all electronic, uh, which is really smart. It fits in really well. Two Garmin screens, uh, and you can see we've got a docking camera here at the moment. Um, we do have one on the port side as well as the engine bay. So we've got three cameras on this boat. And of course, we've got you know, also helm, radar, things like that. So you can plot your journey. You can see other vessels, very useful. Cup holders, uh, VHF, uh, and even you know, a place to put your phone. Small things like that, attention to detail, very good. The master cabin has its own uh, staircase and entrance uh, and it is a beautiful staircase, indirect lighting, lovely window and even this vertical pole to help you get down. So walking into the master cabin, even before we enter, we've got these beautiful mirrored shelves just here and also behind this door. 
very nice design. And walking into this absolutely stunning master, master cabin. Uh, I am very tall, six foot four. I do make most cabins look small, but this is a very good space and even comes up a bit here as well. One thing to notice is all one level. A lot of cabins, they step up and you have various steps, but this is completely flat all the way around. Very easy to manoeuvre. And I absolutely love this arrangement here on the starboard side. You have fantastic views, little coffee table, newspaper, coffee in the morning, or a laptop, do some work before you join your guests and friends. So really nice to have this option as well. Uh, big, big master bed, of course. I love these little uh, reading lights, very neat. You know, they fold away and turn off by themselves and they can swivel completely. Very, very neat. And I love this design, beautiful oak finish everywhere. Plug sockets, indirect lighting. This cabin looks fantastic when you turn off the main lights and just have the LED lights. It looks really nice, the mood lighting. Do have a large Samsung TV into the unit. Uh, again, lots of beautiful lighting. And you can see even on the door panels, for example, there's powder coated features. Just very nice, offsets the oak woodwork. So here we have the table and with this mirror that swivels around, seriously neat. Just love little features like that, it's very nice. And then we'll look at the ensuite just here. So in the ensuite to the master cabin, lovely space, very bright window even with the porthole. And I love this black accent on the sink. It's just one huge unit, it looks beautiful. Uh, and again, large shower with a rainfall, uh, electric flush loose. It's just a really nice, well-equipped ensuite. Marble walls, yeah, it's beautiful, very well finished. Let's go have a look at the forward cabins. So walking down now into the lower deck with the forward cabins, and this is this atrium basically. It's like a conservatory with this extended windscreen. There's, it just absolutely floods it full of light, as well as it all being white interior anyway. It's a very, very bright boat. And then just following me into the VIP cabin. This almost feels like a master cabin. It's that spacious. It's a huge wide bed. Again, plenty of storage all around, loads. Uh, another makeup table just here, swivel out stool with this swiveling mirror. And yeah, I mean, uh, even the headroom, you can notice it, they, because of the sun pad up top, when you step up here to get onto bed, and it, it's enormous. Uh, it's a really good headroom, and you even have a little window just up there. Beautiful, lots of indirect lighting. You have these reading lamps as well. Alcantara finish for a headboard. And one neat feature as well I do like in this cabin is, there's this mirror unit here, just opposite the bed, but actually your TV is concealed within that unit. Uh, it's very smart indeed. But yeah, beautiful cabin. And then the ensuite to the VIP is just here. And yeah, lovely. Same as the master ensuite, marble, black accents. Very good standing headroom for a shower. You even have a bench seat just there. And of course the rainfall as well. An opening porthole, very important. Lovely VIP cabin, lots of space, beautifully finished. Four cabins is very unusual for this size of boat. They don't normally fit it in, but they have, uh, and it's, it's a very, very clever layout to be able to sleep that many people. Uh, so we have the two cabins just here, and this is your day head, which this cabin can use. There, there are two doors, Jack and Jill doors into this head. Uh, and again, very nice, it has the bench for the shower, electric flush loose, uh, black accents on the sink, very well equipped. Beautiful. And into this port side twin cabin, one option this does have is uh, this, these two singles here can be converted into a double. We do have infill cushions for that. Uh, I mean, these singles by themselves are actually very large, but um, yeah, you can turn this into a very big double, which is great. Fantastic views at sea, uh, and you have a TV just there, and of course your access into the head just there. Yeah, fantastic. Very good cabin. And of course the same, on the starboard side.
So walking onto the flybridge of the Pell 62, an absolutely enormous flybridge for this size of boat. It's beautiful up here and it even has this hard top roof which almost covers the whole deck. Do have this stainless steel railing and the door that covers the hatch as well, just makes it very safe for that. So this boat does have the option for the sun pad. Uh, one, the normal option is to have this seating here uh, symmetrically uh, copied, but they've gone for the sun pad, which is great actually. So you've got lots of sunbathing areas. And even, I love this stainless steel with the glass window just there. Looks very modern, it's beautiful. And then of course, we've got this huge dining table on the flybridge. So you've actually got three dining tables exterior and one inside. And you can just see, it's just very comfortable. We've even got this um, electric canvas roof opened up, which takes up quite a big proportion of, this, of the hard top, but it's just beautiful. And if it's too hot, you can of course close that. And just beneath the table actually, we have two loose stools, which just means you can have two guests there and they even have storage inside as well. And they're quite weighted, so you don't need to worry about those jumping around. The wet galley opposite the table on the starboard side, we've got a huge top loading cool box just there for drinks and wines. Uh, and you even have another fridge just so you've got lots of storages for your drinks, which is what you'll need. Uh, and of course, very important ice maker. This compartment just here is just storage. And then this huge, huge area for preparing. It's nice that they've included this section just here. So you can actually prepare the food. Normally it's just a very tight space. So yeah, very user friendly area. Do apologize if there's any wind noise. It's very blustery around here at the moment. <laughs> so walking forward, we do even have a sunbathing area just here. There's an infill that you can put uh, and put a cushion there as well. And then onto the helm, which I was using earlier. Very similar to what's beneath, and we just don't have the two screens in between uh, these Garmin screens, but very similar joystick. And I like how they've put this right on the edge. So if you're using this like we docked earlier, you can literally see right over the edge. I can see the pontoon by using this joystick, fantastic. We're down here in the engine bay, uh, access through the cockpit deck, and what a fantastic space it is in here. To have access either side of each engine is amazing. Uh, you can walk straight through the middle here and access the IPS pod drives just there. Uh, really easy, and of course you've got easy access to the engine, uh, engines just here. Coolant, fuel, uh, filters, oil filters, oil top up, really easy. And then of course we have our generator just here. This is the upgraded one over the standard. So that's very good. Uh, it helps you with the gyro stabilizer, which we have the Seakeeper model, um, which you need to run. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, we have the upgraded engines. These aren't just an upgraded uh, engine. They are a different engine altogether. 12.8 um, liters, I believe they are, different block. So fantastic engines, great performance. Uh, air conditioning on the boat as well. And then we have various systems next to you, uh, shore power supply, etc. So. Yeah, fantastic space down here. Really easy to maneuver. So that concludes the walkthrough tour on this 2020 Pell 62 here in Universal Marina, just outside Southampton. It's an absolutely stunning boat, meticulously maintained professionally, has a massive options list, such as a gyro stabilizer, upgraded generator, upgraded engines, uh, air conditioning, teak decks everywhere, hard top roof. I could go on, it, the list on this boat is fantastic and it is beautiful. Um, it even has a five year warranty remaining, which started in December, 2020. That ends in December, 2025 on all major components on the boat. Fantastic to have that, the peace of mind for you as the buyer. One thing that this boat has crucially had is all of its uh, season maintenance. So back in May this year, 2023, it had engine servicing, IPS, generator, sea keeper. It's been fully serviced as well as having fresh anti-foul on the hull and fresh anodes. So it's ready to go, uh, perfect for peace of mind for the buyer. Uh, and also as a company, Argo Yachting, we offer a free technical orientation and that means you get some time with one of our engineers to go through the boat with you and make you really comfortable with it just so you know how everything works. If you'd like any more information on the boat, please uh, go onto our website, all the pictures, videos, the whole spec is there and most importantly the price. Uh, we'd love to show you the boat, so please do get in touch. Thank you.